Hello everybody, welcome to day one of the 30 day yoga challenge. Uh, today we're going to take it easy. Uh, we do have 29 days ahead of us and trust me you'll be thanking me. And uh, we're just going to warm up the joints and uh, for those new yoginis out there, uh, it'll just um, bring some awareness to the body. Uh, maybe you'll uh, see which parts of your body hold more tension. For those seasoned yogis out there, uh, this is a nice way to just slow it down for a little bit, maybe bring it back to the basics and uh, just enjoy yourself, feel your body, and uh, we'll start in the seated position. Coming to your mat, and if you don't have a mat, uh, maybe you should go out and get one, but if not, uh, you could uh, go on a surface that's uh, flat. I mean, carpet, you could be sliding a bit. The floors might be a little too hard, so I do suggest you get a mat, but make do with whatever you have. Sit in a nice seated position. Uh, make sure both sit bones are level, and sit with head, neck, and trunk in alignment. So we want that spine to be nice and tall. The chest is open, the shoulders are relaxed down, the hands lay gently on the knees, and uh, we're just going to bring the awareness to the breath, just to slow down the breath, start conserving that energy, and begin by noticing the breath in the nostrils. Notice the air flowing in and out of the nostrils with each inhale and exhale. And just relax completely. Scan your body. Notice from your head to toes. Starting with the crown, the forehead, the nostrils, the bridge of the nose, the cheeks, the jawline, shoulders, chest, torso. Relax the hips, the knees, the ankles. And begin relaxing at ease throughout your entire body, preparing yourself for the practice. And we're just going to take our hands and we're going to lightly place the hands, fingers pointing towards each other on the lower belly. And we're going to start by inhaling and inhaling deeply and feeling that belly expand and rise as you inhale. Filling up the belly as you inhale and relaxing as it exhales. Just keep flowing with the breath, feeling the breath, filling up that belly. Follow the breath to the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. Now you're going to bring the fingers up a little more on your rib cage and bring the fingers together a little bit more intertwined and close to your middle knuckles. And now you're going to breathe through the belly and breathe through the rib cage. So breathe in through the belly and the rib cage. Exhale from rib cage to belly. Inhale, belly to rib cage. Exhale, rib cage to belly. Keep flowing with the breath. Now you're going to bring your fingertips just on the collarbone, the fingertips pointing up towards your face. And you're going to breathe in through the belly, in through the rib cage, up to the chest. So inhale all the way up. Exhale from the throat, the rib cage to the belly. Inhale, belly, rib cage to throat. Exhale, throat, rib cage, belly. Now relax. 
relax the hands back on the knees and just breathe gently, letting the breath flow naturally through the entire body. Now that we've slowed down the breath, let's begin the practice. Coming down to all fours, we want the hands to be in underneath the shoulders, the knees to be in underneath the hips. We're going to start warming up the spine, so we're going to inhale, open the chest, push through the hands. Exhale, we're going to arch the back, send the belly up through the navel. Exhale, belly down towards the mat, chest open towards the sky. Exhale, arch, belly up. Inhale, belly down, chest open. Now, blow with your own breath. So, exhaling. Inhaling. Feel your entire back, your entire spine moving with the breath. Now, on the exhale, when you come into the arch, we're going to hold the arch here. Really push down through those knuckles into the mat. Feel the stretch through your entire back. Holding the arch, we're going to curl the toes in under and just lift the knees off the mat about an inch or two. Feel the core being engaged. Breathe deep. Slow breath. Exhale, feet, heels go down towards the mat, and we send the hips up towards the sky in downward dog, or first downward dog. So in the downward dog, if through any time in the practice you feel tired, bring yourself back to this position. It will give you a nice rest, or you can come down to the child's resting pose, bringing the knees down. Sending the hips back towards the bum and letting the forehead go down to the mat. You can try walking the feet out right now. Getting the back of the legs. Giving yourself a nice stretch and the armpits should be going down towards the mat. Hips up towards the sky and heels down. You may not be touching just yet. We're going to bring the knees back down, cross the legs behind you, come back to the seated position, and lie down on your mat. As I said, we're just going to warm up the joints for this sesh. Nice, slow, gentle practice. And we want to lie flat on our back. And we're going to raise the right leg and we're going to start warming up the leg joints, the ankles, the knee, the hips. So we'll start by inhaling, pointing the toes towards the face. Exhaling, pointing the toes to the wall behind you. Inhaling, point. Exhale, flex. Blow with your own breath. Inhaling, point. Exhaling, flex. Now we're going to go back to neutral position and we're going to roll the ankle in one direction. Slow, gentle movements. Keep the breath flowing smoothly and deeply. Opposite direction. Now you're going to bend the knee. The knee and the hip should be in line with one another. 
And we want the knee and the hip to be completely stationary, so we don't want that to move at all. We're just going to take our big toe and draw circles to the wall behind you, isolating that knee. Breathe deeply. Keep the upper leg steady, only the lower leg moving. Inhaling softly, exhaling deeply. Opposite direction. Now we're going to hold the knee and we're going to start opening up those hip joints. So you're going to draw circles with the knee. So the left leg stays where it is and we're just opening up, drawing circles on the ceiling with our knee. Inhaling softly, keeping the breath flowing so smoothly. Slow, controlled movements. Drawing circles with the knee. Keep going wider and wider, opening up those hip joints. The hips tend to be really tight from sitting. Opposite direction. Feel the body. Bring the knee back and let the right leg down to the mat again and just feel the differences between the two legs right now. How much energy is flowing through that right leg as opposed to the left. Bringing balance to the body, let's bring the left leg up. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Flow with your own breath. This is your practice. Don't let the movement go beyond the breath. Movement and breath are synchronized. Bring the toe back to neutral and start rolling the ankle in one direction. Slow, gentle movements. Continuing to let the breath flow evenly. Equal in breath to out breath. Opposite direction. Back to neutral, bend the knee. Knee and hip are in line with one another. Keep the knee and the hip stationary and we want to draw the circles with the big toe. Belly rising on the inhale, relaxing on the exhale. Opposite direction. No thoughts in the mind, only the awareness of the breath. Back to center. Now you're going to draw those circles with the knee, so open up that hip. Draw the circles. Let the breath flow evenly. Slow, gentle movements. Nowhere to be, nothing to do except here and now. Opposite direction. Bring the leg back down and again notice the, the sensations in your leg. Now we're going to activate those shoulders. We're going to inhale and squish our shoulders up to our ears. Exhale, relax 
pass it down. Inhale, squish. Exhale, relax. Inhale, squish. Exhale, relax. Keep going with your own breath. Relax completely, and you're going to roll over on the left side and come onto your belly. Then we're going to continue warming up the spine with our baby cobra. And we want the hands to be next to the shoulders. We want the legs to be nice and relaxed. The pelvis is relaxed. We don't want to engage the lower back. We want to strengthen it by using our chest. So right now our chin should be on the ground, our elbows are tucked in as close to the body as you can be, kind of squishing your shoulders together. So the arms stay close to the body, the elbows point back and down, and we're going to use the toes and just direct the energy back towards the wall behind you without flexing the foot, just point the toes so they're not in or splayed out to the sides. We're just pointing the toes behind us, sending the energy down through the toes, and we're going to inhale, open the chest, exhale down. Inhale, open, arms close to the body, pelvis relax, exhale down. Inhale up, and this time we're going to hold the pose. We're going to hold that baby cobra. And we just want to look at the floor about a foot in front of you. Keep the shoulders relaxed down the spine. The pelvis is relaxed. Feet are about hip width apart. We don't want them inside. We're going to keep them hip width so we're not engaging those inner thighs. We're strengthening the lower back, opening the chest. Breathe deep through the belly. The belly is the foundation of the pose. Breathing to the top of your inhale, the bottom of the exhale. We're going to exhale, bring it down, and place the left cheek on the mat. Relax the arms to the sides. Bend your elbows so that you're not engaging the arms. You're completely relaxed. And pay attention to the breath and the nostrils, noticing that cool, dry air as you inhale, warm, moist air as you exhale. Bringing the hands back to the shoulders, push yourself up to all fours, and come back to the child resting pose just to counteract that little baby back bend with the supported forward fold. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your lower back, and feeling the breath in the belly, and the belly expanding on the inhale, pushing against your legs. Exhale, bring it back up to all fours. Again, knees and under the hips, hands and underneath the shoulders. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, curl the toes under, downward dog. Armpits down, hips up, heels down. Breathe deep, look in between your hands, and then you're gonna step forward between the hands. You're gonna inhale, place the hands on the shins, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll the spine, come all the way back up. And find your mountain pose. And your mountain pose is when you're standing on both your feet. Weight is evenly distributed. Feet are about hip width apart. And you can fan your toes and uh, walk front to back on your toes to heels. And just find that steadiness. 
And once you find that steadiness, you're going to relax the shoulders down, the chest is open, and just close your eyes for a moment. Breathe deep. Again, notice whether you're shifting to one side or the other, and if you find that you're shifting to the left, put more weight into the right foot, and vice versa. Once you've found that mountain pose, you feel the breath flowing so smoothly up and down the spine. And we're going to come sideways on our mat and uh, place the feet. Uh, you can start with just a little more than hip width, or if you feel that you're um, more flexible, you can bring the feet out further. It's totally up to you, but it's always easier to start uh, short and then move into longer rather than longer to short. You might end up falling over. And we're gonna start with feet out. And we want the chest to be open, the shoulders to roll down the spine. And we want to engage that core just a little bit by rolling the pelvis forward just a little bit so that we tuck that tail just a little bit so that the spine is nice and long. We're gonna bring the arms out to the sides and relax the shoulders down again. Breathe deep. And we're going to bring that left foot out into a 90 degree angle. We're going to look towards the left middle finger and start bending that left knee and bringing it towards the middle toe. So look down at the knee, make sure you're not going too far to the front and too far back. We want the hips to remain towards the front and you'll start to feel that stretch through that right hip and just breathe deeply here again roll those shoulders down if you need to adjust yourself and look out through that left middle foot uh, left middle finger sorry and breathe in the warrior too belly rising and falling If you're feeling good here, maybe you want to sink into that left knee a little bit more. Your right leg wants to be reaching back just as much as the left foot down. So you feel that steadiness, that warrior within yourself, engaging both legs strongly. We're going to straighten out that left leg and just send the right hips out towards that wall beside you. And when you send that right hip out, you want to send the left arm straight out. And we're going to open it up. Keep the chest nice and open and just windmill the arms down. And the hands could be anywhere if you're, as long as the chest is open, it doesn't matter where that left hand lands. If you're feeling comfortable, you want to slide it down a little bit more, maybe you reach the ground. As long as that right hip stays open, we don't want to be hinging forward with the right shoulder. And if you can, bring the gaze up towards that right hand. Breathing deep in the triangle, feeling that nice stretch through the torso, the hamstrings of the left leg. Again, grounding through that right leg just as much as the left. Breathe deep. Inhale, bring it back up, bring the left foot in, bring the right foot out. Let's do what we did on the opposite side, so bend that right knee. Again, make sure it's going to the middle toe, chest is open. If you need to adjust that pelvis just a little bit so that the tail is tucked in, the spine is tall. And the warrior too, feeling fierce. Chest is open, shoulders relaxed. Bend a little deeper if you're feeling it. Breathe deep.
Straighten out that right leg, send the left hips back, right arm forward, windmill the arms open. Keep that chest open again, don't be going too far down so that our chest collapses. We want the chest to be nice and open. Bringing the gaze up towards the left fingers. Keeping that left shoulder blade relaxed back. And keep engaging your core so you're not bringing all the weight down onto the arm of the leg. You're using your core to stay up. And breathe deep. Inhale back up. Exhale that right foot forward. Bring the hands on the hips. Chest is open. Shoulders relax. And we're going to inhale, make that crown rise through the spine. Exhale. We don't want the legs or the hips to move. We're just moving the chest so that it becomes parallel to the mat. We want to feel as though there's a string pulling on our crown, lengthening the spine even more. Feel that nice stretch through the back of the legs. If this feels good, you want to try bringing the hands down the legs, keeping that chest up and parallel to the mat at all times. It doesn't matter how far you go down, as long as you're not curving the back so that the spine isn't straight. Breathe deep here. Bring the arms out to the sides like wings of an airplane and inhale it back up. Interlace the hands behind you and just open up the chest, pushing the hands back and away from the body. Get that nice stretch going through the chest, the shoulders. Slowly releasing the arms and slowly bringing your legs back to hip width position. And we're going to come to the top of our mats. We're going to bring the toes, the big toes together to touch. Uh, the back of the feet aren't but there's about a thumb width between them. And you're going to start in your mountain pose again, chest is open, shoulders back, and start bending the knees. As you bend the knees, look down at the knees and make sure they're not going beyond the big toes. As if we're sitting in the chair, in the chair pose. So as we start to sit, we want to curve that tailbone. So the butt doesn't want to be out, we want to curve the tailbone slightly so that the spine remains in its natural position. So the sacrum is nice and curved, so the butt's not out, we want to curve it slightly and we're tucking our navel in towards the spine as we do this. So that's going to engage the core, once you feel steady, we're going to inhale the arms up. We want the arms to be at least going towards the ears. We don't want them too far forward. We want to reach up, but we want to relax the shoulders down. We don't want to reach too much towards the sky. We want to keep those shoulders relaxed so we're engaging the chest. Breathe deep here. Exhale, full, full. Inhale, look up, halfway, hands on the shins, exhale, full fold, and we're going to bring both feet back into the push-up position, in the plank position. We've all tried push-ups before. We don't want the butt to sag. That's going to uh, engage the lower back, which we want to feel this in our core. So feel as if there's a straight line from your crown to your toes. Push through those hands, the knuckles digging into the mat. Exhale, down dog. Heels down, hips up. 
pushing those knuckles into the mat, armpits open going towards the mat, and bring the knees down, cross the legs behind you, come back to seated, and then lie on your back. We're going to breathe here for a few moments, feel the body, let the breath come back to its natural state. Belly rising on the inhale and relaxing on the exhale. We're going to bring the feet close to the glutes. So as close as you can get, keeping the knees hip width, and we want the arms next to the side of the body, and the feet are going to ground into the mat. So start pushing through the mat, through the feet, grounding to the earth, and we're going to slowly push through the feet and send the hips up. So we want the knees to continue to point straight in front of you, we don't want them out to the sides. We're going to send the hips up in the baby bridge. Now we want to roll those hips up so that they're going into the abdominals, the abdominals into the chest, the chest into the throat. The chin is relaxed into the throat so we're not engaging the neck. And just breathe deep here. You feel those quads activating. And as you inhale and exhale deeply, the more you extend that exhale, the more you engage your core. If this is feeling good, maybe you want to squish your shoulder blades together and interlace your hands and underneath you, sending those hips even more up towards the sky, sending your hands down towards the mat, breathing deep. Feeling that core as you lengthen the out breath. Feel those glutes activating. Diaphragm expanding through the belly on the inhale. Core engaging on the exhale. If your hands are interlaced, bring them next to your sides and slowly roll the vertebrae down one by one. Now we did a nice back bend there, so we're going to bring the knees into the chest just to counteract and rock side to side, feeling that lower back being massaged. Breathing deeply again. And again, we're just taking it easy this sesh, so we're going to start using and activating the core, just doing by one leg lifts to begin. So we want that left leg to stay down on the mat, the right leg comes up, and try to keep the leg as straight as you can if you need to bend it. It's no problem, nobody's judging you. Uh, the more you practice, the easier it will become. So we're going to inhale, exhale, bring the foot down to the end of the exhale. And then when you're ready to inhale, bring the leg back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Flow with your own breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Slow, controlled movements. Feel the core activating. Bring the right leg down. Take a rest here if you need to. If not, go right into the left leg, bringing that left leg up. Inhaling. 
Belly rising, exhaling, letting the leg flow down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Again, breath and movements flow together. Bringing that left leg down. Letting the breath flow smoothly and gently. Bring both legs up. And again, try to keep them as straight as you can. As long as that lower back is flat on the mat, you can keep the knees bent. Whatever feels more comfortable, you're still going to engage your core. And we're going to... Keep the legs straight for about 10 seconds. Keep letting the breath flow smoothly, steadily. Then we're going to bring the legs down about 30%. Keep that lower back flat. Breathe deep. Try to keep them straight. And the feet can be together here. Now slowly bring them down until you start to feel the back curving. When you feel that curve, stop and hold here. Breathe deep. You could be shaking right now. You could be sweating right now. All sensation vibrations that you've created. Now bring the feet about two inches off of the ground. And bring the chest up and look at your toes. You can leave the arms down or you can bring the arms up, reaching the fingers towards the toes. Breathe deep here. Hold. Breathe. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest. Relax. Rock side to side and maybe draw circles with your lower back. Opposite direction. Relax the feet down and roll over on your belly. We're going to do one more core exercise. This is also going to engage the glutes, the legs. And we're just going to stay up on our elbows for right now. Elbow and shoulder should be aligned with one another. Just check in with the body. And we're going to start bringing the left hand down so it's parallel to the edge of the top of the mat. And we're just going to bring that right leg up. We're going to reach behind with that right left hand. And we're going to inhale and kick back into that right hand. So you're kicking that shoulder open. Breathe deep here. Keep kicking into that right arm. Feel that lower back engaged, the legs, and as you lengthen those exhale, again you'll engage the core. Slowly release that right leg and bring the right arm so that the right arm is parallel to the edge of the mat. And again, Let's do the opposite side, bending that left foot, reaching behind to the outer edge of the foot. 
We want the chest to be forward. We're going to inhale, exhale, kick that left foot back. Keep the deep breathing going, lengthening those exhale. Kicking through that left foot so that you open up that left shoulder even more. Slowly release that left leg. Bring hands back. Place the hands next to the shoulders. And let's counteract that backward bending with a child resting pose. Bringing the forehead down to the mat. And we're going to let the knees go out to the outer edges of the mat this time so that our belly loosely flows down to the mat. Relax the shoulders, reaching the hands forward. Relax the lower back, breathe deep here. We're going to come back up to all fours. And we're going to relax the shoulders back down the spine, engaging the core, and we're going to just send the right leg back. And we want to make sure that the hips are square in this position. So you might want to look back and make sure that the leg isn't reaching up. We want the hips to be square. So look back, make sure that that right butt cheek isn't higher than the left. Chest is open, toes point down, and engage that core. Now if you're feeling good here, if you're feeling steady, and you want to challenge yourself a little, extend that opposite left arm. Now, you want to also make sure that once you extend that left arm, that right hip doesn't raise. So check in with the body. Breathe deep. If you have the left arm down, Bring the right knee in. If not, bring that left arm down and bring the right knee in. And we'll work with the opposite side. Chest is open, shoulders relax down the spine. Left leg reaches forward. Again, adjust the hips. Make sure that the hips not reaching up. It's in line with the right. Toes point down. Breathe deep, engage the core. And again, if you did this on the opposite side, extend that right arm forward. Breathe deep. Bring the right arm down if you have it up. Left foot down. Cross the legs. And come back to the seated position. Breathe deep, feel the breath, and find your sit bones. Now we're going to just bring the sit bones back to its neutral position, chest is open, and we're going to release any residual tension we've held in the spine by doing a torso twist. It's a great detoxifier, it gives that body a like a ringing out of the internal organs of the spine. We want the right fingertips to lightly go behind you. The left fingertips on the right knee. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, twist the body. And we want the neck to follow that right shoulder as you open up to that right side. Breathe deeply, feeling that expansion in your torso as you inhale and relaxing as it exhales.
exhale, bring the body back to center. Right fingertips on left knee, left fingertips behind you. The fingers are just lightly touching the mat. We don't want to put the weight into the hand. The body is being twisted by the torso. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, twist towards the left neck, follows the shoulder. Breathe deeply. Feel the belly and the breath opening up through the inhale. Exhaling, relaxing. Exhale, release. Inhale the arms up and just interlace the hands and reach up, giving yourself a nice stretch. Breathe deep. Exhale the arms down to your sides and lay on your back and prepare yourself for relaxation. Laying on your back for relaxation is going to give your body that nice rest it deserves. Lying in Shavasana, in corpse pose. Maybe you want to get a blanket, get your socks back on, a sweater, whatever feels comfortable. And just rest comfortably on your mat. Laying with your feet splayed out to the sides, your arms out to the sides, you can have the palms open or the palms down, whatever feels more comfortable, and begin relaxing completely. Feel the whole body relaxing into the mat. Feel the whole body becoming heavy, the forehead, the cheeks, the jawline, all relaxing, feeling the back of the head sinking into the mat, the shoulders, the buttocks, the heels, all sinking into the mat. And just notice Become aware of any sensations you feel in your body as a result of your practice. Notice the breath flowing through the nostrils. Notice the breath flowing through your throat. Notice the breath flowing down into your belly. Observing the gentle rising and falling with each inhale and exhale. And become aware of each part of the body as I go through them. Following the breath as if it's flowing from each part to another. Starting with the crown to the toes. Follow that steady stream of breath from the head to the toes on the inhale. Exhale from the toes to the head. Inhale, head to toes. Exhale, toes to head. Head to ankle. Ankle to head. Head to ankle, ankle to head, head to knees, knees to head, head to knees, knees to head, head to hips, hips to head, 
head to navel, navel to head, head to navel, navel to head, head to heart, heart to head, head to heart, heart to head, head to throat, throat to head, head to eyebrow center, eyebrow center to head, head to eyebrow center, eyebrow center to head, head to toe awareness, feeling the breath flowing from head to toes, toes to head, whole body awareness. Feel the whole body as it breathes. Feel the breath breathing you without any efforts on your part. Simply coming and going. Absorb the silence and appreciate the stillness. The only time you may have in your day. And begin to feel the breath in the belly again. Feel the rising and falling. Notice the position of your body on the mat. Feeling that heaviness through the heels, the legs, the buttocks, the back, the back of the head. Remembering where you are, what you're doing. And begin counting. Inhale, six breath. Exhale, six breath. Counting down, five inhale, five exhale. Four inhale, five exhale. Three inhale. Three, exhale, down to one. And whenever you feel ready, start wiggling your fingers, your toes, and floating back up on your left side for three breaths before coming back up to the seated position. And when you get to that seated position, sit with head, neck, and trunk in alignment. Bringing the awareness back to the nostrils. Keeping the eyes closed, staying the center of your being. Feeling the breath in and out of the nostrils and bringing the palms of the hands together rubbing the palms of the hands together creating heat cup the eyes opening your eyes to the warmth in your hands resolving in your mind that you'll sit again for yoga and that you will remain peaceful and calm with, even with the eyes open, placing hands in prayer, thanking mind, body, and spirit for allowing us this practice. Namaste. I hope you've enjoyed this relaxing first yoga session. Uh, the uh, more we practice, the more challenging it becomes. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me on Dharma Yoga website. And also, if there's any sort of muscle group that you want to uh, either focus on or strengthen, uh, feel free to email me with any requests. I usually don't uh, plan too far ahead. And uh, I like it to be organic and uh, it to flow naturally. So uh, feel free to send me any requests. And uh, I look forward to spending the next 29 days with you. And uh, 
see you all tomorrow. Namaste.